nicely, but next to him it was Abdullahi that got a nice start. But look at Cunningham, so easy. Look at the arm action, so confident. Now the race is for second. It looks like it could be LaFonz Campbell. It is going to be Campbell who's going to get that second automatic qualifier, 13-20 for Cunningham. Looking for the win, reading a little, little breath behind him, 0.4 at his back. Not enough to push him into the hurdles. We're corrected to 13.21, well ahead of LaFrance Campbell of Clemson, who got that second spot. And Joel Pankston in third. He didn't run fast enough to qualify on time. Yeah, and you'll see Trey Cunningham here. Just smooth, easy out the blocks. Smooth hurdler, gets to the first hurdle first. And honestly, this race was a lot cleaner than even his haircut. He's got great hair, people. Look at the arm action that we've been talking about from the other hurdlers. Just smooth, spending as much time on the ground as he possibly can and not hanging over the hurdles. I think he's got a special time in him come the finals because it didn't seem like he quite had his legs right there, and he still went out and ran 13-21. That is a new haircut for Trey Cunningham as well, but I remember talking to Alan Johnson, the sprint hurdle coach at North Carolina State and Olympic champion from 1996. He got a chance to see Trey Cunningham along with Grant Holloway and Daniel Roberts come up through the junior ranks. And when I, when I asked him how good could he be, Alan Johnson said, I think Trey Cunningham might be better than both of those guys. Oh, no doubt about it. Well, he is downstairs with John Anderson. Let's find out. All right, Trey Cunningham said his lunch wasn't filling well. You're going to be all right here, though, right? Am I a safe I'm distance? I'm good. I'm all good. Right, we're good. Uh, explain to me uh, your thought process of having to go through three flights of hurdles to finally get to the final and have a chance to win the national championship on Friday. I mean, it's been a long time coming. The last time I was here outdoors, I was a freshman. Mm -hmm. uh, some bad luck hindered me from doing that. Had a few injuries and then COVID, but we're here. I mean, I like running rounds. Okay. It takes away the luck out of it. So, yeah. And you said this is the easy part. What's the hard part? Practice, man. <laughs> I don't like running over 13 seconds. That's why I run this race. <laughs> and how hard you been working? We've been working pretty hard. Uh, these past few weeks have been tapering off a little bit. Just fine-tuning a few things. We'll see you on Friday. See you Friday.